don't know if you got the uh, theme music there. Um, here we go. Trying to get this on. That's why I need totally need a producer. Yeah, I mean, we still should be hearing some music, but uh, anyway, uh, today what we're going to do, the channel introduction to YouTube, and hopefully you'll see as this channel grows, some uh, some production quality grow with it. Uh, as you already know, I'm Jurgs. Um, I am the founder and CEO of the Jurger Group. And uh, we've recently diversified, not only just to fund ourselves, but also, you know, to diversify and then find other interests that we're in. Uh, we started in hospitality. Uh, back in 2013, I began researching the concept of putting together a hotel. In that case, it was actually in Belize. Uh, we've got some news on that coming today. Yesterday, we dropped a video where we made another big announcement. We are in the process of purchase, purchasing our first domestic location. That's going to be in Gulfport, Florida, uh, right outside St. Petersburg and Tampa. And uh, we got some amazing news on that um, that I'm also going to share. But I also wanted to give you an intro as to what this channel is for. Uh, it's the Jurger Group. So um, uh, I think I was supposed to actually take that one more slide, but whatever. Uh, we'll see that soon enough. Um, the Jurger Group is about three different things. Uh, the Jurger Group is the parent company for our hospitality uh, wing or, or division um, in that is Shea Yergs. Shea is the French word for the home of. Yergs is me. And every hotel that we have under that brand, it's not going to be like you're in a hotel. It's going to be like you're in my house. And instead of calling you Mr. or Mrs. or ma'am so-and-so, we're going to treat you like you're a friend. Or we're going to use your first name or your nickname or whatever you prefer to go by. Uh, Shea Inclusive is another brand we've created that we're looking at. Um, that is what the uh, what the title suggests. It's the home of inclusiveness, and uh, where everybody's going to be welcome. We're not going to talk about politics, so that divide is out right from the front door. Uh, and then any other brand that we acquire, like right now, we're looking at the uh, historic Peninsula Inn in Gulfport. We may keep that brand. It's already very, very well established and doing well. Uh, there are certainly some things we're going to do to make it do even better. But you know, right now it, it's uh, um, it, it, it's surviving on its own uh, after a pandemic uh, with an owner who's ready to retire and is essentially, for lack of better terms, burnt out. Don't get me wrong; she's still very passionate about the property. It's still her baby. She still loves it, but um, uh, she's ready to enjoy the rest of her life. So we're going to help her with that. Um, so after hospitality, we've got day trading. I recently could an air conditioner turn on. I recently began day trading, and the reason for that was um, twofold, really. One is to take those profits, convert it over to the Yoga Group. If the Yoga Group isn't um, doing the day trading itself, which actually now we are. Uh, to fund the hospitality division. But then also, you know, this is an easy source of income. You know, day trading is not hard to learn. Uh, I'm in an amazing group with, um, within the uh, uh, International Markets Live uh, company. Uh, IML.com is, is um, just an excellent educational platform for you to learn both day trading in the Forex market, the foreign exchange, and also the crypto markets, uh, as well as you know um, indices and and, and uh, you know, gold, silver, oil, all that. So um, that's another source of income, and that's one of the major. That is really the major topic of this channel. Uh, and then finally, these two. Uh, some of the videos I've got on the channel right now are actually the most watched videos. Uh, if you can see them over there. Um, the dog with uh, the red sweater on uh, just got back yesterday from the hospital. Uh, he had some uh, emergency surgery that uh, was life-saving. Uh, his stomach was distended, meaning it flipped inside of him, and that's fatal. 
you have to have surgery to fix that. There's no other way or you're going to die. And we're lucky to have him. He's uh, on some meds right now, so he's a little sleepy. But, um, you know, he's, uh, he's going to be well taken care of over the next two weeks and, you know, for the rest of his life. The videos that we have about that are the fact that he's got mega esophagus, which means that he, the stool that is holding my Sony camera right now, um, he actually also holds him. He has to put his front paws up on a stool, and then I feed him meatballs. And he uses gravity to help him eat. Um, so he can't eat bent over from a bowl like uh, the dog down here that you might hear snoring does. Um, he does not have the strength in his throat to help him swallow. And then the food gets caught in his esophagus and he asphyxiates. Uh, he's had pneumonia twice in his life because of that. And now that we know uh, the whole situation, you know, we do much better at preventing that. In fact, he hasn't had pneumonia in years. Um, so those are the three uh, topics you're going to see on this channel. Uh, let's get back to the day trading for a minute. Um, uh, in my own quest to educate myself on day trading and cryptos and anything really investing uh, as far as my future goes, I, I went to YouTube, I went to Google, I, I, I started doing my own research and I found two types of experts on, especially YouTube, but throughout the internet. One is the expert that actually knows what they're talking about. He or she knows what they're talking about, but is talking to their fellow experts. They're nerding out. Um, and, and as a result, it doesn't help us, you know, because I'm presuming you're watching this for the same reason I am creating it. And that is that you need to learn from a ground up level, as did I, as do I, I still do. Um, so there's these experts that are essentially doing their show and getting off on doing a show and talking to other experts, and they're not really passing us newbies anything of worth. Then there's the other experts who are not experts. They just fancy themselves experts and they're getting off on the fact that they have a, a YouTube channel or even, God forbid, an actual podcast where it's live or being carried on multiple formats, whatever. So um, I decided that we needed to fix that. As a historian and political science, political scientist by education, I don't know a lot about history. I know where to find it. My thing is research. And so that's what I do for this channel is research the cryptos that we talk about, research the day trading that we talk about, and then I present it with a citation. This is where I found it. So I'm not the expert. I'm not pretending. I'm not on this channel pretending to be an expert. And someday I will outgrow this channel in that I will become an expert because I'll have done so much research and have so much experience in cryptos and investing and whatever else we're talking about that the host of this will have to become somebody else. And we'll look into that. But uh, I think there will always be a market for a show like this that concentrates on the newbies, that concentrates on dumbing it down to the retail, retail investors. You know, the people who are... God forbid, trying to get rich quick. And I don't recommend that at all. I've, I've seen that already. Um, but also those who have realized they need to diversify, you know, have more than just a pension, have more than just multiple savings accounts that, uh, you know, each one for a different project uh, and need to create multiple streams of income. Day trading and investing is definitely a solid way to do that. So that's the channel. Uh, that's what we're going to be about. And that's what we're going to be doing. As we said yesterday, um, our offer to, to uh, purchase the Gulfport Inn, or, I'm sorry, the, the, the historic Peninsula Inn in Gulfport, Florida, has been accepted. So for those of you with a little extra money, you know, 10,000 bucks, that's all it takes to become part of this. And you got a vacation spot for the rest of your life. Um, hit me up. You'll see my contact info at the end. Um, I should actually probably make sure that mine, yeah, there we go. Uh, my email is in the credits. So hit me up there if you're interested. Um, and yeah, let's talk. Um, some additional news. Um, I spoke with my CFO this morning. 
uh, we are further in fully acquiring the necessary financing to come up with our end of the bargain for the purchase in Gulfport. We are also steps further for the purchase of not one more, but five more hotels in Belize. We're looking at a company right now that holds three properties. One is a private island. I mean, how how bad is that? You know, that's a good deal. A, a private island, uh, a swimming distance from St. George's Key in Belize. Um, the Royal Palm Inn, uh, Royal Palm Island. Um, I'm brain farting on the on the full name, I'm, but but you're getting the idea. We're looking at that and two of their sister properties, both of which are up in the jungle. So that would help us diversify right there. Uh, and that's three properties. Uh, four and five are properties I've been looking at pretty much since I've been going to Belize. Uh, the, the one is the first place I stayed at in Hopkins Village called Parrot Cove Inn. Um, we are looking to acquire that, as well as Chef Rob's Bistro, the restaurant that is connected to the inn. Um, that restaurant, I'm not kidding you when I tell you that is one of my favorite restaurants in the world. Uh, and you know what I do prior to, to becoming a hotelier and, and investor. Um, I'm very well traveled globally. And uh, that is without question, one of my favorite places. Right next door is a building that was built uh, to be sold with the building next door to that. Uh, however, this past December, one of my dream locations, Villa Verano, was sold and has gone back to becoming a private residence. Uh, ten bedrooms, three kitchens, ten and a half. There's a half bathroom up on the upstairs by the hot tub. Uh, so each room has its own bath. Uh, a courtyard in the center of the building that is absolutely stunning. A beachside pool. Um, we were going to put an outdoor kitchen in as well. You know, we'll see what the, the the new owners do. They're actually, well, actually in the third kitchen, which is up on the upstairs. <clears throat> it is both indoors and outdoors. There's, there's an indoor part to it, but there is an actual outdoor barbecue area. So they already have an outdoor kitchen. It's just not by the pool. Um, that has sold. That's off the market. That's gone. The building right aside of it, Villa Margarita, was built because that guy knew that the owners of Villa Verano were eventually going to sell, which they did. And he was going to sell, you know, to both, uh, or so have arranged for both buildings to be sold to the same owner, to the same buyer. And that didn't work because the guy that bought Villa Verano, he's only interested in that one building as a private residence for his family. 10 bed. Let me say that again, 10 bedrooms, three kitchens, a pool, a hot tub, a, a, a sick building is a private residence for a family. So um, that makes Villa Margarita much more marketable to us. It would be right alongside of Parrot Cove and would uh, be buildings five and six for our overall portfolio. We're looking at that. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're looking at a trip to go see that um, later this summer probably in July or August, depending on the schedule with uh, Peninsula Inn and closing and fundraising for that. But uh, we got some due diligence to do in the jungle and on the beach. Uh, so stick with us, uh, the Jurger Group. Um, that's anywhere you want to be on the internet, really. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> and put out some more closing, you know, fading out some music. Yeah, sorry this was rushed today. <clears throat> sorry this was rushed today, but uh, just we wanted to get that info out to you immediately and, um, you know, let everybody see it. And we hope to see you follow us, like us, find us anywhere you want to be, especially the new YouTube channel, but we're also on TikTok. Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. That's me. And there's the email address I told you about. That's our producer. He didn't get a chance to do too much today, but that's little Prim. He usually does all the mixing for us. 
And that's us. I got to get out of that so I can close out. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you. And we'll see you again. Uh, trade with some risk, but do it safely. I'll talk to you again soon.